Hello friends, welcome to my channel Indramik Cooks where I make cooking easy and fun filled. Today I am going to make a recipe, uh, rather a dish which is um, a very known dish and uh, uh, too much comfortable we feel when we make it in this season. Uh, it is uh, made of a raw jackfruit that is in Bengali we call it achor. I will be making achor with my favorite prawns. Yes, by the time all of my friends do know that uh, prawns are my most favorite and uh, I am going to make uh, achor chingri, very known recipe. I do have some other achor chingri recipes also in my channel uh, which I will be giving you the link in the description box also. You can check it out there but this is going to be a little bit different. Today I am going to cook it um, in a village style you know. Uh, so in my kitchen the village style echo chingri uh, is going to take place today. So let's try it. So the first thing first friends let's heat up a pan. Add some mustard oil, say two and a half tablespoonful of mustard oil. Let the mustard oil heat. To this I'm going to add the tempering cumin seeds, half a teaspoonful of cumin seeds. After cumin seeds goes two sticks of cinnamon, two green cardamom, two dry red chili and one fourth teaspoonful of asafoetida or hing and here goes one teaspoonful of ginger paste, I'm sorry garlic paste not ginger paste friends garlic paste and I will be frying this till the rawness of the garlic disappears and to this I am going to add one medium sized onion finely chopped and I will be fry it till it changes its color and becomes a little bit of transparent to this I am going to add two teaspoonful of ginger and green chili paste now ginger and green chili paste green chili you can add according to your taste here i have added only one because i cannot tackle the flame now here goes turmeric powder kashmiri red chili powder coriander powder one teaspoonful cumin powder half a teaspoonful salt according to your taste give this a nice mix till all the aroma of the spices releases and the oil is separated and when it is nicely fried to this I am going to add one large tomato paste. Mix it nicely add a little bit of jaggery or you can add sugar also if you wish to a little bit of sweetening agent is required here friends for this dish. Now give it a nice mix and to this I am going to add the raw jackfruit which I have parboiled. I have cut them into medium sized pieces and cubes like pieces and this is parboiled. Do not boil it much. To this I am adding again one large potato diced which is also parboiled. Give it a lovely mix. Friends if you all like my recipe please smash the like button, share with your friends as much as possible and those who are new to my channel, my humble request, please, please, please do subscribe and those who have already subscribed, a lot of thanks to all of them. Now I will add the star item, my prawns. I have taken here 400 grams of nicely de-veined and de-shelled prawns, medium sized prawns I have taken here which I have marinated with a little bit of salt and turmeric powder for 10 to 20 minutes. Now give this a nice mix for at least 5 to 7 minutes or till the oil separates from it and all mixes very nicely. Now I'll cover it and cook it on low medium flame for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes friends it has released all the oil and the moisture is retained in between. To this now I am going to add 2 cups of water. This water you can adjust according to your desired consistency. Now mix it nicely and I will allow it to boil for 2 to 3 minutes. Now I will be keeping a consistency which is neither too runny nor too dry. Now here goes 1 4 teaspoonful of garam masala powder and half teaspoonful of clarified butter or ghee. After adding this I will cover and cook it for 5 more minutes. Do not forget the steps friends. These steps are very very important. 
So friends, a little bit of uh, ingredients, though not different type of ingredients, but the ingredients that is very easily available in our kitchen, I'm using them. But the thing is that when and how I'm using them, uh, that is the catch of this, uh, this dish rather. Uh, so um, hope you all are going to enjoy this. After five minutes of boiling, I'll just check the consistency. This is exactly the consistency I am desiring and all the aroma is nicely trapped and my dish is ready to serve. I'll just show you all friends the final result of it and I dish it out. Trust me friends, it's delicious. So be happy, be merry, catch you all soon again. Keep me in your prayers. Thank you all for watching.